Thompson points out and many other modern sociologists, media really is the distinctive feature of modernity. Thus, when looking at the Roy Morgan research that 35% of Australians are homophobic, one must question what role does the media play in perpetuating this socially excluding prejudice? I spoke earlier about guys and being afraid of um, talking about their feelings and afraid of being feminine and afraid of looking gay, right? And that is all tied to the kind of homophobic talk you get all through society. As hegemonic masculinity states, homosexuals really are on the bottom. Gay rights is a big issue being contended on the political stage in Australia while some politicians are standing up for gay rights. It's no jo joke to be caught in the crossfire of prejudice and it's no joke to live with the fear of being rejected or vilified or persecuted because of who you are. Others are using it as a platform to get in. How well do you really know Campbell Newman? Do you think he'll stand up for your family values? Well, I've said before that I support gay marriage. Is a vote for RMP leader Campbell Newman a vote for gay marriage? Authorised by Luke Shaw, Canada's Australia Party, Brisbane. Australia's political future depends on whether the media continues to perpetuate homophobia. We will be conducting a two-part investigation. One, looking at instances of homophobia in the media to conclude that it's a common practice and then also surveying the people of Australia to work out their demographics and perhaps looking at a link between homophobia and media exposure to it. Our research will include both qualitative and quantitative data. We expect to find homophobic slurs rife throughout the media, as it is just such a contentious issue at the moment. In our second part of our research, we expect to find a link between media exposure and homophobia. We need you and your money. I was probably a little too high.